Moving on to the speaker number two. Thanks. Affirmations are positive statements that can help you to challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start to make a positive change. Garen has recently began using this tool personally and has invited a few fellow Toastmasters to share out to share out loud a few affirmations they may resonate with Wolf, and he will attempt to speak on them in a personal and meaningful way in his speech titled What is Your Affirmation? All right. How many of you have a best friend? Best friend? Best friend? For those of you who didn't raise your hands, I'm going to ask you, who's that voice in your mind? Who talks to you? Is that your best friend? I mean, they're always with you every single day. And whenever you have a thought, they have an opinion. Don't they? Would you call that person a best friend? No. <laughs> Whether or not you like your best friend, <laughs> they're there. My best friend, you know, that voice in my brain, often talked and spoke negatively. Reminded me of all the harsh things that I did in my past. And somehow would encourage me to repeat them. Does your best friend talk like that? <laughs> I have decided, most recently, as in a month ago, to begin retraining my best friend to speak differently. Because I need him to talk differently, right? And I have used, or I'm using the tool called affirmations. Now, I've heard, uh, I've heard Bonnie online talk about affirmations and she would speak at length about different affirmations and speaking things out loud and so forth. And I would hear her and sometimes it would be like a rant in my mind and I'm just like, okay, yeah, that's cute. Like, I, affirmation is great, yeah until I started doing them for myself. And then I realized how powerful those things are. And it has been helping, because when I make a mistake, I don't care, negative talk. It's like, Garen, get up, you can do this again. So, I've asked a few fellow Toastmasters to review some affirmations that I've shared with them. It's probably a slew, of probably 50. And just to pick one that resonates with them, and I will attempt to speak from my heart on that. So let's start with you. Every day is a new opportunity to grow. When you look at yourself today, when you got up this morning, put on your clothes, your attire, and you step into the room, weren't you looking at it as an opportunity for you to grow? Like what are you handling or dealing with on the inside that's prompting you to come here? Like who do you need to communicate with on a day-to-day -day basis that you want to improve that connection that Postmaster helps you to do. It's not just about the speeches that you, that you perform. It's not about standing in front of a room of people, but what's it like with your significant other, or your child, a friend? Do you want to connect with them at a deeper level? And does coming here on a weekly basis allow you to do that? When you look around the room and you see your fellow Toastmasters thinking that they are also coming here for that very reason, it connects us deeply. Yeah? yeah? And you can now support each one another because you know that we're possibly going through the same thing. We're all here, a walking connection. You weren't created to be alone, no. So if connection is what we're about, yes. Let's take every single day as an opportunity to grow. Bye. Every time I step out of my comfort zone, I'm stepping into my calling. I was in Mount Dora just last week, and my daughter's shoes were getting tight. She said, Daddy, can, I, can we go into the shoe store? I want, to buy a, I, want, I want to buy a new pair of shoes, but you don't have money, baby. Yes, I do. You gave me a lot, she says. And my feet are getting tight. I need that extra space, Daddy. 
I needed extra space. So we went into this shoe store and we bought her a shoe. Now she bought a shoe that was two times her size. <laughs> I love it, Daddy, I love it. She says, I can grow into it. You can stuff the front. <laughs> and she would not allow us to leave until we bought that shoe and we bought it. And of course she's running around the house and her feet are flopping out of the shoe, but she loves it. <laughs> It's uncomfortable, right? But, but we give ourselves that room to grow. Why just get the shoe that's the exact size? She's probably onto something. She got it two times bigger, two sizes bigger, because she wants to grow. Even through that uncomfortable flopping around of her feet in her shoes. There's a lot that we can learn from children, right? I learned something. Bonnie said what she said because there's, there's room for her to grow. She recognizes it. And she also recognizes, which is the mature part of it, that it's going to be uncomfortable. It's okay, guys, when we're uncomfortable. It's okay, especially when you know <clears throat> that growth is on the other side of this feeling. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. Come on. I am strong and I am determined to remain calm through any situation. How many times do you feel weak? And probably we need that type of affirmation to remind us that even when we're weak, we are strong. The Bible says it. Christ says it. In your weakness, you are made strong through his strength. Oftentimes we depend on ourselves and we feel as though we're the ones who have to carry that heavy load. We're the ones that have to make the decision. We're the one that has to be successful. When our creator is simply telling us, yo, just trust in me, I got you covered. Carmelo, he's saying just trust in him. He's got you covered. None of us can grow the hair on our head. No pun intended. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Okay? None of us can make our hearts beat, but we wake up and it's beating. If you're sleeping, it's beating. We don't have, we're not as, the power that we gain, guys, is not through our strength. It's through the strength of the universe. The reason why we're here. So it's important for us to not beat ourselves up too much, too bad, and just Give in. Submit to the universe. It will pave the way for us. We have the opportunity to plan out our days, but the universe actually plans out our purpose. Just keep that in mind. As mentioned, this is my new tool, affirmations. And every time I'm feeling kind of funky throughout the course of my day, I pull it up, I look at it, I say it out loud, and I'm able to take the next step. Consider Affirmation is a tool that you too can use. Thank you.